This is a beautiful example of a genuine 17th century English funerary helmet. Now funerary helmets of course were never intended to be worn just like this one here you can see that they are the gorget in this case is riveted closed uh, which I'm sure has symbolic reasons as a mark of respect to the wearer but really they were made to be hung above the tomb in the family chapel or the church and, and it was to symbolise the deceased's military or noble standing. Now this particular helmet of course uh, I'm sure that the, the skull here was originally from a closed burgonet which would have seen action during the English Civil War no doubt. Now often these were these were actually the wearer's actual helmet so this, this helmet could have been the helmet that the guy wore the deceased war during the English Civil War and uh, this particular funerary helmet hasn't been got at because very often these were seen for commercial reasons as an excuse to revert back to their original form and then they were sold on for more. Now this has been done to death and consequently very few funerary helmets actually reach the market. Now the funerary spike in this case has been expertly made using two pieces of iron which have been heated to yellow heat and then wrapped forge welded and raised to a spike and it's upon this spike that the deceased's achievements would have sat which in this case is a stag these are often just just gesso covered wood and uh, these really were interpretations of the male element of the deceased's coat of arms I've seen many things. Uh, I've seen gauntlets on there. There's been uh, even a loaf of bread, which I think is one of the ones that's at Westminster Abbey, which was to symbolise wealth. Now, um, this helmet bears many clues as to its original use, in that it has holes going around the, the circumference here and around the back, which in two cases retain the original brass rivets. Now, it's in these rivets where in this case there would have been a lining strip uh, where the leather lining would have been fixed inside the helmet further proof that this was actually worn and in this case as well there are two at the back which is where no doubt a plume holder would have gone now funerary helmets as I've said are quite rare but this one is particularly rare because usually they have a barred visor now this has a ventail now it does articulate but as I said you could never wear it it even has pierced breaths to imitate the, the Greenwich helmets of the day. But they usually had a barred visor, which often shared the rivets here, which are for the lining. A simple barred visor. But this has this beautifully exaggerated ventail. And it's exaggerated because, remember, you're not meant to look at this helmet face on. You're meant to look at this helmet from probably 20 feet below as you gazed up above the tomb. So here we are, one beautiful example of a rare funerary helmet. Now this helmet is currently for sale on the Nigel Caron website so have a look on nigelcaron.com. Thank you very much.